Hey YouTube, Ivy Figs here. Today is the day. Finally, oh, it's been hyped for so long here in New Zealand. If you are in New Zealand, you may have been aware that there's an event called Armageddon. It's like a comic con, and Hacksaw Jim Duggan is gonna be there. And oh, I can't wait. I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna meet him. I'm gonna get my Legend Series 3 figure sign that I just unboxed in a recent episode of Mail Mania. It's going to be so awesome. Let's not waste any more time. Here's... Well, I'm not sure if it's it can be considered a day in the life, but I hope to get some great footage of meeting him. I'm going to sound record the conversation that I have. I've heard he's a really, really awesome person to talk to, so I just can't wait. Let's get this day underway. He's so sick! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not even now! <laughs> and then, of course, there's my favourite. One, two, three, four, five, six. And teen instead of ten. Steven, my name is Bean. <laughs> Wait till you get six people on the deck. <laughs> oh, do you want to come over and sit on the deck? The what? Come over and sit on the deck. Oh, no. Oh, you guys are forward. <laughs> I, I have an exceptionally large deck. Oh, my God. Get 20 people on it easy. Uh, and a barbecue. <laughs> That's a huge deck. Thank you. <laughs> a huge fan. We're gonna get away this season. Echo's Echo's been here about five hours, so right. Um, I don't know. <laughs> That's English. Thanks, Tim. Hey, Hexel. Hi, buddy. How are you, How young man? Oh, you got one of the old ones, huh? Yeah, I, I, I dug through eBay to try to find that. That's yeah. in good shape, too, brother. Yeah, thanks. Very good. And it's got the 2 by 4 a lot of them, yeah. they don't love the board. Yeah. That's Would definitely you... my favorite figurine of yours. Well, thank you, buddy. Yeah. You want it personalized? Oh, please. What's your, What's your name, pal? Ruben, R-U-B-E-N. R-U-B-E-N. Yeah, thank you so much. My pleasure, Ruben. How have you been enjoying New Zealand so far? Oh, so far, so good, buddy. I enjoy it over here very much. Yeah. I brought my wife with me so we're doing a little vacation that's great have you ever been to new zealand before yes we were here about uh, four years ago but we were just in and out to auckland so this is nice yeah they're going to take us to a, a gondola ride and a hobbit place and a mud yeah, bath and a volcano nice. they got yeah. all kinds of stuff yeah planned. yeah i've been to that gondola place before it's like five minutes from where i live it's, oh really yeah it's really fun lots of tourists go there yeah so ruben who do you like nowadays in wrestling buddy i'll put you on the spot there undertaker is definitely my favorite okay who don't you like then <laughs> oh, that's really so a good one. So a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a really hard one. Um, I don't hate anyone, but my least favorite is probably Roman Reigns. Oh, oh that's oh, a oh, oh, security. Oh, 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 for Hexor Jim Duggan! Yeah. Oh. Let's do it together, guys! Come on! Oh. That was a good hoeing, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, folks. It's great to be back in New Zealand. Uh, I enjoyed myself over here. Brought my wife this time for a little bit of a vacation. Great to see so many wrestling fans. Yes, I know. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, you know, let me tell you a little bit about wrestling. You know, folks, uh, a lot of you hear the negative stuff with uh, my good friend Jake the Snake Roberts or, or Scott Hall. For me, it's been a great business. I've been wrestling since uh, 1979. I went through a couple different character changes, but like I said, it's been a great business. I've been with my wife for over 30 years. I've never had to go to rehab for booze or drugs like a lot of guys. and. You know, so many folks hear the negative stuff. It's uh, it's really a positive business. And one thing a lot of folks don't realize about wrestling is it's how popular it is around the world. You know, I joke in America we have the NFL football players, and they're like, we're world champions. And I'm like, where in the world have you guys been? You know, and uh, so in my 35 years plus wrestling, I've had the opportunity to wrestle in every state in the union every province in Canada in 31 different countries. It's uh, amazing the appeal of wrestling around the world. Let's just keep going, bro. You got yeah. questions? 
Hi, if anyone's got a question, by all means put your hand up, otherwise I'm just going to sit here and listen to this man talk all day. Well, Corbin. Oh, did he? Hey. You've had many great battles over the years. Who's your favourite opponent? Uh, you know, uh, you know, that's one thing about wrestling. A lot of folks think we're all really good friends, and uh, we're not, actually. We all compete for the same money, so it's a very competitive business. But the guy I enjoyed wrestling the most was Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man. And any of the second generation guys that wrestled, like uh, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning, Jake the Snake Roberts, uh, Ted DiBiase, their dads were wrestlers. They grew up in wrestling, and they were just that much more polished. And I did start wrestling when I was 25. I played American football, and so it took me a couple years to learn. But wrestling a guy like Ted DiBiase, I, I learned quite a bit. But the, the thing I remember most of, of, of all the years I've wrestled, folks said, what, what's your most memorable match? And you know, when I grew up in upstate New York, up closer to Montreal than New York City, and as a young kid, my dad would bring me to New York City to Madison Square Garden to see the circus. So as an adult, to pull up in front of Madison Square Garden and see Hacksaw Jim Duggan versus Andre the Giant, it was a, uh, a thrill of a lifetime and something I'll always remember, being in there with Andre. And, and he could be an irritable giant sometimes, I'll tell you. I'll tell you a quick story I think a lot of folks enjoy hearing about is uh, probably one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, The Undertaker. Undertaker, you know, of course when I was in the WWF, which was kind of the golden age of professional wrestling, I was been there for a couple of years, I was already established and The Undertaker came in. So Vince McMahon gave me a lot of the young guys to work with, uh, kind of calm them down in the ring. So we're out on the West Coast, California, in front of like 20,000 people at the, the Cow Palace in San Francisco, and Undertaker's just wound up so tight. You know, he's a young kid. He's got me bent over the ropes, and he's choking me, and he's choking me, and I'm, I'm getting those flashes of light from lack of oxygen, you know? And I'm like, loosen up, brother, loosen up. And he's just oblivious. He's choking me, he's choking me. So I'm punching him. I'm like, loosen up, brother. He's like, Rrr. So for some reason, unbeknownst to me, I reached up and I grabbed his hair and I pulled his hair up like this. And he's got me bent over the ropes. I go, you look, you look like a devil. He goes, what? <laughs> We're in front of 20,000 people. I said, well, you got devil hair. You look like a devil, you know? Well, long story uh, short, it calmed him down. He cooled off. And we had a great match. So now we're going to fast forward about 20 years later where it's a WWE. Undertaker, of course, is the biggest man in the business. And I'm an old timer and they bring me in for the Royal Rumble. And I'm not sure who won that first Royal Rumble. Oh. Oh! <laughs> but anyway, so it's the Royal Rumble and uh, I'm like the, one of the late guys going out. And I, I run down to the ring and I jump into the ring and I'm getting ready to go and I jump up. And who's the first guy standing there? Undertaker, <laughs> of all the guys, Undertaker. So I give him a shot, I give him a shot, I give him a shot, Undertaker goes, give me the big one, hacker. So I'm old school, I gotta wind up for the big one, you know? I wind up, boom, I hit Undertaker. He goes down like he got shot, boom, woo. John Cena comes over, boom, he goes down. Triple H comes over, boom, he goes down. Everybody's selling for me for a minute. I'm shining like a son of a gun. Bing, a bing, a bing. Finally, the big show comes over. He snatches me up. He's got me up in the air. I'm like, show, show. I can see the whole arena from up here. <laughs> He's like, get out of here, dog. And he throws me out of the ring, right? So I go back through the curtain, and Vince McMahon's sitting back there. And I, he goes, Jim, come here. He says, that was a great sign of respect those kids showed you out there. I said, yes, sir, I realize that. So that night we have the big after party at the, you know, the WWE after party. They got carved ice and all this fancy stuff. I see Undertaker. And I go up to him. I said, hey, Taker. I said, thanks so much for taking that first bump. That set everything up for me. Everybody else fouled you. He goes, ah, Duggan. Nothing's too good for devil hair. Oh. 25 years later, the guy repaid the favor. When he was a big star, he made me look good after I helped him out years ago. That's the kind of class act The Undertaker is. He's a good man. How about a hole, guys? Ho! Oh! Hey, if you're ever talking to him, tell him Armageddon. Undertaker at Armageddon would be a little bit of fun. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to get Undertaker to go anywhere. Yeah, fair oh, enough. Hey. 
So when I would go overseas, my father-in-law, God bless him, he made me this beautiful felt case for my two by four. You know, it's gorgeous. So I'm going through customs in Italy, and I got all the wrestlers with me, the guys, hold it, hold it. You know, he pulls the board out of the case and he's rapping on the board. He goes, what do you do with board? So I had all the guys with me, I'm like, well, I'm building a house over here piece by piece. <laughs> The guy said, sit over there. <laughs> About three hours later, I'm going, I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> Don't rib with the customs people. <laughs> then I got on the bus. Everybody had to wait for me on the bus, you know. And Andre wasn't happy with me. Oh. Four, three, two, one. got home what an awesome day oh thank you guys for sticking through this video i'm not sure how much of the actual panel i've put in um because oh it was over 30 minutes long but it was so good he could have been doing that panel all night the only reason they wrapped it up is because they were out of time um so here's the photo i got with hacksaw so awesome hacksaw yeah you guys would have heard the sound recording he was just so so cool and um, I was hoping to get um, the, some footage of um, from a distance of Hacksaw signing this, but there were people onto my brother who was trying to film it, so they shut him down. But the main thing is he signed it, and oh, I'm so glad I got it signed in paint pen, because a couple of days um, before Armageddon, um, I decided that it would be a good idea to test out some different Sharpies on it to see what would come out good. I thought for ages that a silver sharpie would work fine but it, it like barely came out so i tried a black sharpie and it looks okay but then we got a paint pen and it just looks so much better it's just an old packaging um yeah it's, i'm just i'm kind of lost for words with how awesome today was hacksaw jim duggan um uh, uh, yes yeah, i'm sorry i'm so i'm so blown away with how awesome today was and how awesome hacksaw was i've heard great things about him but wow actually meeting him in person that oh uh, yeah yeah <laughs> i'm uh, sorry I, i'm lost for words yeah so so awesome um that's going to wrap up the video my first ever signed figure and a great photo op with Hacksaw Jim Duggan, such an awesome human being. I highly recommend if you get the chance to meet Hacksaw Jim Duggan, whether it's at a local indie event or like a Comic Con or something, definitely take the time out and make it make it a plan because it's it was not cheap to buy the whole package, but seriously, it was really worth it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. That's it for the video, I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you see and you want to see more videos like this, feel free to check out the video right there. 
Follow me on all my social media accounts at the bottom of the screen. And most importantly, if you haven't done it already, click here to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.